the last uh, student uh, piece I'd like to share with here, that this was just such a, this one kind of, kind of came out of the blue last week, uh, what this student requested and what she asked about. Mr. Zorvis will touch a little bit about how we've done this to some extent, but what this student asked me last week, I think really, really kind of put the nail in the coffin in terms of what video conferencing has done for some of us and, and how it's trying to get us connected. Morgan? Um, I'll be moving to Texas after the semester and I'm in part of the Yemen girls group and I would like to be connected with them when I move. So I was talking to Mr. Sparks about like Skyping in to the video conference like my friend will have a computer and I'll be Skyping in on the polycom screen with them so I'll be listening and joined in the conversation but not in there. I'll be in Texas so. Yeah. Really what she was saying is she came up and she says, even though I'm going to be moving away from the state of Alaska and I'm going to move to another state, can I stay connected with my classmates and continue this project that we're, we're doing? And it, it kind of literally blew me away that somebody was going to move away from our state but asking if she could stay connected. And it, it inspired in me. I said, well, you know what? Before you go, Morgan, we'll find out what school you're going to. And if they actually have video conferencing capabilities, we might even be able to set up a, a connection between uh, your room and, and your former world history room here and we can do a meet and greet and a cultural exchange which is another thing that we like to to be able to do as well so you know not only do we have students that might be gone on vacation or something that are staying in in our classroom or whatever i, I actually had a student who's going to move away who said can i stay connected in your classroom and with video conferencing we have that ability and that to me, that kind of says it all right there. I'm going to turn it over to Mr. Zorbis to talk a little bit about uh, the professional development and, and what it's done also throughout our school. Thank you. So I'm Greg Zorbis. I teach world history here at Kenai Central High School. And, and, and video conferencing, what I talk about best practices, uh, accommodating, or I like to say integrating. We're, we're, we're so in-depth now with video conferencing that I say it's integrated into our into our curriculum and it, like Mr. Sparks said what it's done for us professionally is it took two 20-year teachers and we've completely changed how we're teaching world history um, and it's and it's it's because of the collaboration it's because of the, the the work that we've been able to do together that's given us the energy and and the drive and the passion to change what we've done um, professionally it makes you a better teacher because it, you have to allow other people into your classroom. And when you allow other professionals into your classroom, even though they're coming in video, you don't want things to be you don't want things to be going wrong. You don't want you know discipline. It just makes a better professional situation, better teacher. Um, what it's done for kids, Mr. Sparks talked. Morgan's a perfect example. I just was Morgan just excited as all get up when I heard heard you you say that and and I have kids who come to me who uh, a couple of years ago a student who was struggling with leukemia treatment in in Oregon and and when we got her hooked up she was enrolled in my class she had to leave to go get treatment we got polycom got involved and we, we were able to hook her up into my class every day and her treatment completely turned around her whole mental aspect of of going through that disease and she was in class every day um, I had some students come to me the other day who were going on a hunting trip and who brought a prearranged absence form and rather than ask me what they were going to miss they said we have a we have a uh, ipad we can connect um you know when it comes to assessing whether or not this video conferencing is impacting how well kids are retaining what we're doing in the classroom mr sparks and i are still working on formal assessments to try and figure that out but what we can tell you is that these kinds of stories will tell you that kids are engaged and want to be in our classrooms. Um, last year, one of the events Mr. Sparks talked about, we had, between the two classes, we had over 100 kids spend the night at school, get up at 3.30 in the morning to participate in a four o'clock in the morning video conference. These kinds of things tell the story of whether this is really working or not. 